To get the reins of the Shadow Dusk Dream Saber, it requires you to complete the Glory of the Dream Raider achievement, and in this guide, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that. Each of the nine bosses have their own achievement tied to them, which we'll need to complete in order to complete the main achievement. To complete these, the raid needs to be on normal difficulty or higher. Starting with Naru, we have to complete Mina Pastures. This requires us to defeat Naru after igniting eight harmless blossoms that can be found at the edges of the arena. During the intermission, Naru will afflict players with the Ember Chard debuff, which normally you'd use to burn the Doom Roots. Players simply need to use this debuff and go and stand on top of a harmless blossom to ignite it, and make sure that all eight of the flowers are ignited before you kill the boss. Next, we have Agira the Cruel. Here we have to complete Cruelty Free. This achievement requires us to free the Scorched Critters that are trapped in the three different Torment Forged Pots in the boss arena. You'll find two to the left of the boss and one on the far right side. To break these critters free, you simply need to place a Blistering Spear on top of each of the cauldrons. This will break the critters out and allow you to complete the achievement. We started on the left side and then moved as a raid to the other side, and after all the critters are broken free, you can nuke down the boss. Up next we have Volacross and his Swag Champion achievement. Here we have to defeat Volacross after he has consumed at least 30 sizzling swaggers. Before the fight, you'll find a swaghorn around the rocks to the right just after you enter the boss room. Somebody in your raid team needs to pick this swag up to activate the achievement. When active, the boss will start spawning swags that will chase players down. If you are targeted or have aggro of a swag, you'll need to kite it towards your tank so that they can pick up the aggro. Tanks must have aggro of all of the swaglets ready for the boss's tank mechanic, Cataclysm Jaws, where Volacross will consume all the swaglets on that tank. Make sure that Volacross has consumed 30 swaggers before you kill the boss. Now we face Laradar Keeper of Flame. Here we have to complete the Don't Let the Doe Hit You on the Way Out achievement. To do so, we must defeat Laradar while keeping Ivy Extinguished and alive. After clearing the trash before Laradar, your raid will need to assign one player to keep Ivy the Doe alive. You'll find her at the start of the boss room in a little pen. Moving close to Ivy will scare her away, causing her to move, and this is why we need only one player to keep her safe. This player should escort her to the boss room before you begin the encounter. Ivy starts with 70 stacks of Singed. The assigned player will need to use the seed in the middle to extinguish all of her stacks before you kill Laradar. This isn't the only part of the achievement though, you also need to make sure that Ivy is kept safe from the boss's raging inferno. Have your group stack at the front of the Bramble Barrier, while your Ivy Savior pushes her to the back of the safe zone. This makes it so that your raid group will not scare her out of it. Once all of her stacks are removed, you can zerg down the boss, but make sure that your healers keep her healthy. After successfully completing this achievement, you'll receive a companion ID pet in the mail for all you collectors out there. Next, we move on to the Council of Dreams to complete the Ducks in a Row achievement. Here we must defeat the Council of Dreams after recruiting Sergeant Quackers to join the cause. As you enter the boss room, you'll see Sergeant Quackers off to the left, perched on the wall. During the fight, Pip will polymorph bomb some of your raid, turning them into ducks, for this achievement, everybody should stack under Sergeant Quackers and wait for the bombs to expire, which will briefly disorient everyone hit and turn you into ducks. While transformed, somebody needs to click on Sergeant Quackers to get him to join the fight, and once he does, you can kill the boss. It's not completely clear what triggers Quackers to become active. Some people believe it's when most of your raid becomes ducks. Others believe that you have to slash salute him as a duck to be able to click him, but as long as you keep trying both, you'll eventually recruit the Sergeant into battle. After completing this achievement, you'll also receive Sergeant Quackers as a companion pet in the mail. Now we face Nimue, Weaver of the Cycle, where we have to complete a dream within a dream. To complete this achievement, we must defeat Nimue after successfully collecting 5 dream projections while asleep, and then defeating the manifested monarch. Before pulling, your group should assign 5 different players to hover around these locations where the butterflies spawn, so that they can capture them and spawn the monarch. To interact and see these butterflies, you must be in a dream state which you enter by typing slash sleep after the boss encounter starts. Taking any damage during the fight will wake you from this state, so you need to find them quickly at the start of the encounter. I'd recommend making a slash sleep macro so that you can quickly re-enter the dream if damage does awaken you, and note that it does take a second or two of sleeping to actually start dreaming. While asleep, you'll be able to see a green butterfly that each assigned player needs to click on to capture. Remember, taking damage causes you to wake up, so don't cross the lines. After all five butterflies have been caught, the manifested monarch will spawn, quickly nuke this mob down and dodge the infinite amount of knockback orbs that it fires out and once you've defeated the moth, you can kill the boss. We did have this fight bug out, where during continuum the monarch respawned and apparently if you do kill it a second time, it just bugs out the achievement and you don't get it, so if it does respawn, I'd recommend just wiping and doing it again. Before taking on Smolderon and completing the achievement Haven't We Done This Before, you'll need to assign six players to head back to the start of a major seal and bathe in this pool. Here you'll gain a 10 minute buff named Dreaming Quintessence. 
and then during the encounter, these six players must position themselves on each of the six rooms in the boss arena. One by one, your raid leader should call for a Dao's player to use their extra action button they gain after the runes activate, causing them to channel into the boss and deal raid-wide damage. Here you can see that we may have taken slightly too long to get all six channels off as I had to do it during the intermission and therefore cancel mine because of the knockback and circles, but you can rechannel after already using the extra action button, or if it's close I'd suggest just waiting until after the intermission to finish off the runes. After all six runes have been complete, then we can defeat Smolderon after dowsing all six runes of the Fire Lord. After this we move on to Tindril Sage Swift, where we need to complete the Whelp I'm Lost achievement. To do so, we have to defeat Tindril after rescuing six lost whelps. These whelps are found amongst the Amidrasil tree and can actually be quite difficult to see. They have a faint green glow around them and you simply need to drag and ride through them to pick one up. Note that you can only pick one up at a time. We assigned a group of at least five players to go and nuke down the boss's supernova shield at the next platform, while the rest of our raid went searching for the whelps. It did take us a few tries to find them all and then make sure that we had them all collected, and remember that players holding a whelp cannot die for the rest of the encounter, so make sure that you have reliable players to hold the whelps. A tip for this boss would be that you can actually use a targeting macro which I'll show on screen right now to find the whelps and then you can place a marker on their head to make finding them easier. But unfortunately, this fight is mainly a case of going again until you found them all and then players can just focus on rescuing the one they previously picked up. After rescuing all six of the whelps, you can kill the boss. Finally, we face Farak, where we must complete the Memories of Teldrassil achievement. Here we need to defeat Farak after collecting six Memories of Teldrassil and returning their spirits to the heart of Amirdrasil. You'll find these wisps near the start of the raid, so you need to assign six reliable and confident players to go back and pick up a spirit. Here's where you can find them. For this fight, these players must simply stay alive with the spirits, and these spirits will spawn adds that travel towards the heart of a Mirdrasil, and healers will need to heal them up fully before they reach the tree, just like the normal healing adds they have to deal with. Upon six of these spirits reaching the tree, you will then be able to kill Farak, and upon doing so, you'll have completed the glory of the Dream Raider achievement, and you will receive the Reigns of the Shadow Dusk Dream Saver. If this guide did help you or your guild out, then please feel free to drop a like down below and subscribe to your boy, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.